Do you like the idea of having widgets on your lock screen? This feature is reportedly being brought back with the Android 15 update, but there will be millions of devices that will not receive said update. So today, I want to show you an application in the Google Play Store right now that allows you to add widgets to your lock screen on any device running Android 5.1 and higher. The application in question is called Lock Screen Widgets and Drawer by the developer Zachary Wander, who I actually worked with while I was writing Android news articles on the XDA portal a while back. It is priced at $1.50, but the application is more than worth it if you're wanting to get back the lock screen widget feature that was removed with the update to Android 5.0. And I'll be sure to have this app linked in the video description below for anyone who wants to buy it and support independent Android developers. Once it has been installed, we're going to go ahead and open it up and we're going to be greeted with this onboarding screen that walks us through some basic details about it. With the lock screen widgets and drawer application, we're able to bring back Android KitKat's lock screen widgets that were sadly taken away from us. The widgets show up as a simple slider on the lock screen, and we get some basic usage instructions here, but I'll go over all of them later on in this video. The application does not collect an excessive amount of data, just what is needed to diagnose app crashes. It does require an accessibility service to work, but again, no data is collected here, and there aren't any actions taken through this system. We are able to hide these widgets if there are notifications being displayed on the screen, but this is optional, so this does not need to be granted during this setup process. If you want the app to use its masking mode feature, which enables a nice transparent feature, then it will need to be able to read external storage. Those with Android 13 and higher, if you want to use this feature, then you will need to use AppOps with the help of Shizuku in order to grant this special permission. But again, this is optional as well. You will also want to exclude this application from Android's built-in battery optimization feature if you notice the app is frequently being killed in the background. So, now that you have an idea of what the application can do, let's get into adding widgets on our lock screen. But before we can get into that, I want to tell you about a great little website called Play Store Finder. I personally got tired of browsing the Play Store to find great apps and games only to see Google showcasing the predatory ones that were packed with ads and in-app purchases. So I created the website www.playstorefinder.com as a place to find true gems hidden away in Google Play, while also offering a robust filtering system that allows you to show games that do not require an internet connection, for example, ones that do not have any ads, or apps that do not have any in-app purchases. Now, once we get into the lock screen widgets and drawer application, you may be greeted with an information card at the top telling you that you need to allow the application to ignore Android's battery optimization, or you may need to grant the accessibility setting before you can use it. It will just depend on if you granted these permissions at the setup screen and which device you have. But once you have the application set up, your screen should look like this. And we're going to enable the lock screen widgets feature with this toggle up here at the top. Once this has been enabled, we can go ahead and tap on the add widget button to begin adding widgets to our Android lock screen. Let's go through here and let's add a clock. The first widget that you try to create 
will be asked, are you sure you want this application to create that widget? I'm going to go ahead and tap always allow and then tap on create. Then from here, we can choose the style that we want to add. Now let's go ahead and add another widget. So we're just going to go through here, find another widget that we want to add and it has been added. And let's go ahead and add one more for this example here. Once we have finished adding all the widgets that we want to to begin with, let's go ahead and lock the screen and view the lock screen. You're going to see our widget frame right here and we're going to need to tap on this widget frame with two fingers in order to bring up the controls. We can hide those controls with another two finger gesture, but from here we can move it anywhere on the lock screen that you want. We can even resize this window from here. We can swipe through these widgets like this. And we can temporarily hide the widgets by doing a two finger gesture tap and then tapping on the eye icon in the top left. That will hide your widgets until the screen goes dark and they will come back whenever we view the lock screen again. We can even add more widgets here from this screen by doing a two finger gesture and then tapping on the plus icon right there. If you've been wanting quicker access to your Android widgets, then I cannot recommend this application enough. Be sure to check it out and share your thoughts down in the comments section below.